Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Makeup and Ministry Mondays and also thank you for so much as always for tuning in to my channel Vlog Talk where we vlog and talk. I hope and pray that all is well with you guys. We're going to have an interesting topic today. The Lord, as promised, as always, gave me a word for you guys. And as promised, I will deliver, or should I should have said that the Lord will deliver the word through me, okay? So I pray that it will be something said that may leap in your womb, and let us just get into prayer now. Holy Father, I come before you to say thank you, Lord. God, I want to thank you that whether I feel like it or not, that I will continue to obey your voice and do your will, Father God, and serve the people, Father God, by ministering your word, God, that it may, uh, that I may minister grace to the hearer, Father God. And I want to thank you that no corrupt communication proceed out of my mouth, Father God. And I just want to thank you that something is said in me and, and through them, Father God, in me, Father God, um, to them that may leap in their womb, causing them to see their, their lives uh, different, Father God, causing them to never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And I also wanted to pray, I should have included my uh, makeup tutorial that the Lord would guide my hands, God, and... Um, that he would just guide, guide my hands and that I will be able to create what I call or what people call a soft glam, okay? So we're going to try to do a soft glam today. So we're going to get right into this um, tutorial. Yes. Whew, Lord, I just want to thank God that everything is well. For sure. So the first thing we want to do... Um, you want to go ahead and prime the face um, well let's take these clips first I got some little clips and we're gonna clip our hair back like that and we're gonna clip the other side like that okay and so let's just prime our face you can do it with me if you like it's up to you like I said I don't consider myself as a pro As you can see, my uh, eyebrows are already done. And uh, I don't think I'll be wearing lashes today. I tried on two set, and I think it's the glue is, I don't know, it's not sticky, but uh, all is well with that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And happy Father's Day to the fathers. Well, by the time you watch this video, it will be Monday. So. I should say happy belated Father's Day to all the fathers. Yeah. Lord, thank you that you have supplied all of our need. And I just want to know how have you guys been and have these vlogs been helping you all? Um, I just want to know. Because... I just want to hear the testimonies that you guys um, have because we know that the word never returns void, right? I just wanted to tell someone, I don't know who this would be too, but so many times I wanted to give up making my daily confessions and I wanted to stop believing, but faith is all we have in the word. You know, faith is all we have in God the word, so. Just using my um, translucent powder. I uh, should have uh, showed you guys that, but it, it's okay. So, yeah, I had to tap it. So, um, let me just see here. I'm going to powder the face. I'm actually going to take a, um, a brush and just go over my face. I'm going to use one of my Clinique brushes okay yeah so um anyway like i was saying i wanted to give up on my confessions but the lord told me not you know don't give up keep keep declaring what you desire keep speaking faith keep just keep doing it keep doing it god said and i just wanted to just the fact that he um told me to continue on you know encourage me Okay, so I want it to look real ghostly. 
go sleep because this will prevent it from um if you have oily skin like i do um when you put your makeup on it'll prevent it from oily being oily so yep yeah. there so we did that and we're gonna go ahead and get into the makeup okay so as we can see we look very ghostly so yeah what was i saying i hope you guys are having an amazing day i really do pray for you guys every single day um if you guys have any special prayer requests i want you to go ahead and um inbox me so I'm going to use my foundation stick. Um, it's 411. This is in the co uh, color of coconut. But before I use that, we're not going to do a whole lot today because it's a very nice day and I don't want to put too much makeup on. This is my infallible um, long wearing uh, foundation. This is the stick uh, 410 in cocoa, which is what I'm going to use first. So again, I'm not going to uh, do too much. Okay. Uh, I think today we're not going to put as much as I put on before. I think sometimes less is best. There. And then we're just going to take our brush. I got another one, but I'm just going to use the mermaid brush or I can use one of the, probably going to use both brushes, my mermaid brush and my um, Clinique brush, okay? So. Yeah. Yeah, so, um. I am just so grateful to serve you guys, whether I feel like it or not, because it's the will of God. It's his will for me to serve um, this way to manifest his word, manifest his word, to uh, minister his word to you guys. You know, because I don't know, you know, who may need this, need to hear the word. You know, I think we all need to hear it. And um, I just think so. And I don't think so. I know so. So, yeah, today we're just going to do a soft glam. And I'm just going to put this in, you know, blend this in my skin. And blend and blend. Okay. So, and I'm just going to tell you guys what I've been up to while we let's get into this makeup i've been really in my word haven't been watching tv that much um i know sometimes it seems like you're in your word you're in your word and nothing is happening but we know that that's a lie so i'm gonna go into my so that was the coconut <coughs> excuse me chestnut and then i'm gonna go into my cocoa 410 uh, infallible wear foundation uh, I just want to encourage you guys to hold on for one second just do this like that continue to um, stay in your word because even when it looks like oh my goodness did I use the wrong one yep I did that's okay. That's okay. Anyway, um, to stay in the word, even if it looks like a dry season. And I'm going to use my Clinique brush, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, I told you about the story about the house. Um, a lot of people, I don't, I don't even want to uh, get into what people say. I'm just going to discuss what God has said. You know, um, I remember 
that I was in the Word, believing in God for the house that I was telling you guys about in my previous vlog. And the enemy was trying to tell me that I wasn't going to have a house until I was 40 years old and that the Word wasn't working for me. So every day I would come home from work, I would get in the Word. And I want to say three months later, God manifested the house. So I just want to encourage you guys to, whatever you're believing in God for, I don't care what it is that, you know, um, see yourself with that thing. See yourself healed. See yourself, you know, whatever. You know, it helps if you, if you see yourself um, the way God sees you. Okay, I'm not going to get so caught up into this. Um, I kind of like it on this side and I do this side. I don't know what's happening, but uh, we don't want to do too much um, at all. Yeah, so um, I stayed in the Word. I did. I stayed in the Word and God manifested His glory. He did. He manifested His glory. Um. He manifested his promise to me. I stayed in the word. And so I just encourage you guys to stay in the word no matter how you feel. Because during that time, I was feeling so down. It just, I, I cried. I think I even cried. I'm not even sure. Because it looked like I was never going to have a house. And people, you know, would say things that he didn't say, of course. That maybe I was going to get an apartment. Maybe that God doesn't want me to have that. All these lies. And I choose to believe the word. Um... And at the time, I was building my faith, you know. I was building my faith. And I stayed in the Word. And like I said, God manifested His glory. He manifested His glory. Okay. Yep, so we see that. Okay. And I got the house. And so... I noticed that when um, each time I stay in the word, that um, things come to pass. It manifests. Let me know if you guys use the LA uh, Pro Concealer. So, uh, I probably should do this. I'm not sure. I probably want to stick to the next. So, this is the golden. And I got three of these. Yeah, so I just wanted to say, when it looks like nothing is happening stay in your word because the when it feels like nothing is working that means it's working and i'm, I'm not going to give up i'm really not um i'm just really not going to give up on his word and i pray that you guys don't either um so i'm gonna use my um golden i'm gonna use my golden um concealer first because you know i use three kind Yep, so, in spite of how you feel, I just pray that you guys, um, just don't give up on the word. So, like I said, I've been in my word, and sometimes it could be, you know, tears running down your eyes, but stay in the word, I'm telling you. He said those who, um, who shed tears shall reap with joy, our scripture says. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. That's what the scripture says. You can Google, Google that. Okay? Yeah, that's what God said. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Actually, and then we want, we want to get a little bit more bright. Like I said, I don't want to do too much makeup today. And um, and what I want to do is take my um, you 
my other Clinique Deluxe Brush. That's what it say. Deluxe Crease Brush. It's really for your eyes, so I probably shouldn't use it. It's for your creases, but I'm going to use it for my nose. <laughs> and so I'm just going to apply that there. Yes, and let me know what do you guys what did you guys do for um Father's Day, fathers, or did you do anything for your father or anything? I definitely want to hear. Um. And we're just not. Going to let that sit. Uh, and I'm gonna brighten up that chin. Yeah, it's a little too bright, but it's okay. Oh, I didn't get my little spray bottle. Take my brush and, I mean my brush, my sponge. And now we're not going to um, set it either. And we're actually going to get the eyes too. Yeah, we're gonna get the eyes and then we're gonna set this with the powder enough powder to set under the eye yeah so just tell me how you guys father's day um well i don't know if any guys will be watching this tutorial but if you are i sure like to know what you did for father's day wow i'm sure you guys are doing something lovely right or women you can just tell me what are some of the things you did for your father you know what did you guys do I you know just one time with my father Too much powder on my forehead and they're just gonna pat that down like that and I'm coming together and coming together Okay, and then what else we're going to do? Um, like I said, we're not going to do too much. Um, uh, we're going to give myself a little um some more color. Mm. Let's see what else. Next, I'm going to just do the eyes, and then we're going to do some blush you know what I didn't even get the blush oh my goodness I didn't even get the um, blush or anything like that oh my goodness what in the world 
anyway i started this tutorial without any of that and this is gonna be like an interesting look okay and i do not want to get up to get it mm -mm -mm. so like i said i wasn't going to do too much anyway and so i guess this is just going to be uh, a tutorial where it's going to be a, a just real neutral real real neutral so i'm going to put See if I could put um this is the a contouring stick, but I'm going ahead and put this over my eyes to give me a uh oh just a um real neutral look. This bit of a difference. So we got that. Um, and yeah, I guess we're just gonna be very, very um, neutral today. Um, apologize to you guys if I'm um, just being kind of quiet I really apologize to you all I was just I thought that I had one thing but I didn't have it but it's okay because we're gonna move right along this is gonna be a really very mute neutral look or natural should I say could do a red wing liner but it's too late so yeah I'm just gonna put this here this one looks a little better this one see I got to get the concealer to clean this up and it I'm going to do just that so we're going to clean this up with concealer I'm not uh, great with this wing liner thing as you can see And then we're just going to take a brush and we're going to 
It's a trick that I learned from doll, doll face lyrics. Or doll face lyrics. Well, it's not perfect, but it's okay. It's not perfect, but it is okay. Oh, well, we're going to leave it like that, and we're going to get into these lips. You know what? I actually, let me see if I can do a red one. Um, I don't think I want to be bothered with these liners. I don't think I have red, but we'll use this. Um, I have the um, how can I pronounce it? These matte um, lip not a lip pencil, but these um, different color eyeliners. Okay, I'll link it. It is by Handanian. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I will link it down below. And then we're going to go ahead and get into this. So, and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. As always, um, during these times, I just, whatever I can do to encourage someone, I'm going to, you know, doing these vlogs, trying to make it fun and, you know, take your mind off of things. So. Oh. Lord got my hands. I'm going to try to do it. Mm. Okay, this is like all messed up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is like all messed up. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do the other eye because I really have to practice this and I'm gonna get better. I kind of just want to hurry up and move on to the next thing. should do the glitter because this one is not it's not uh uh oh oh lord i'm messing up oh and so i gotta make the other one match oh lord this is just oh i should have never even done this messing myself up but God turned it into a masterpiece somehow. And what I should have did was I'm put a little spark on here. So I'm got my glitter kind and I'm going to try to fix this. I so apologize to you guys. I'm just okay, trying to get stuff together here. Um We're not even gonna. Let's look a little okay. And so. Oh. 
And then I'm just pretty much done with this. We're going to move on to the next thing. We'll do better next time. Um, I don't know why I didn't bring the rest of my things in here. And then so when I start vlogging, I like to have everything that I need. We're going to move on to the lips. And I'm using just a regular lip pencil. You can get it at your local beauty supply store. And this lip pencil. Uh, Mika Mika Miller, Nicole, Nicole Miller, New York is the name of this brand. And then I'm just going to outline my lips with that. And I'm going to use um, I think I want to use my bare nude um right by um Ruby Kiss my bare nude okay so I'm gonna do that It's one of them days when I'm going to say something good is going to happen to me today. And something good is going to happen to you guys today. Okay, and we're done. We are done. I'm kind of glad. <laughs> Next time, I will do better. And um, I pray that I was able to do something that will... Uh, was beneficial to you all helped you all in some form of fashion um i didn't like i said i didn't put a whole lot of makeup on today any of that i didn't do any of that um and we're gonna get right into my favorite part which is the ministry so we're gonna take these out and we're going to Yep, I'm bright today, but it's okay. I looked at like a um like kind of a um natural look. Bit of a natural. So it's very natural. I didn't put too much on at all. So um I did not quite contour my nose though. But that's okay. We got to move on. So Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to get into this word. All right. So, um, today's topic, as we know, it's an M&M &M vlog. And um, today's topic, we're going to be talking about depression, oppression, and disappointment. So, if you're dealing with depression, oppression, and disappointment, this video is for you. And if not, if someone you know is dealing with this, then it's, um, I encourage you to share this video. Um, so I'm jumping ahead of myself. That should be something I say during the end, but I just w was led to um, just state that. Okay, so before we get into that, um, there is a question of the day, and that reads, what area of blogging do I struggle with the most? And that is just being comfortable talking in front of you all, um, not being able, to, like what I'm doing now, I'm babbling. Um, I struggle with just being able to be comfortable and confident, which I'm working on it, um, with um, delivering the message and just being confident 
with uh, telling you guys, you know, the truth, you know, ministering the word and um, just basically just being comfortable talking in front of people. And so I struggled with that for a long time. Um, ever since I was in grammar school, I never wanted to get up in front of the class and say my speech or do a presentation. None of that. I was always afraid or just uncomfortable. So God has taken me outside my comfort zone and I'm just doing this to, you know, hey, just doing it. I'm I'm just doing it guys. So that's what I struggle with. Just being comfortable talking um on camera in front of you guys. Um I don't know why, but um God is breaking me out of that shell. So comment below and let me know what are some of the things you guys uh struggle with when you guys are um blogging if you guys are bloggers. Okay? All right, so we're going to get into depression, oppression, and disappointment. Hallelujah. And it's just um, just a time, a time now where um, I had struggled with, about last week, I was struggling with um, different things. And the enemy tried to bring on depression and things like that and oppression and things like that to disappoint me. So we know that uh, uh, depression and oppression are like sister and brother, and it it, um, it attracts disappointment, right? And so for me, I get into the word, and then sometimes I don't feel great rather um, right away when I'm in the word, but I continue to get in the word, okay? I continue to get in the word because I know that those feelings are going to pass over, okay? Yes, so those feelings are going to pass over. But his word is going to stand forever. And so I get in the word to encourage myself um, and just let myself know that God has provided. You know, God has provided for you. So this may look like a dry season. This may look like nothing is happening, and happening. But I promise you, if you stay in the word, that it's going to manifest. That God is going to manifest his glory indeed. And so there's some of the things that I do when I'm feeling that way. And uh, sometimes I feel good when I'm done. And sometimes I feel, you know, a little bit better. And then sometimes I just don't feel great at all. But I have to understand once again that it's not uh, according to my feelings. It's according to my faith and so just even sometimes if you find yourself in tears and you believe God and you you know I just want to encourage you to stay in the word because the word is going to do the work and so when I'm I'm in the word I'm uh, speaking it out I'm speaking it out I'm speaking it out and it seems like oh Lord it's not doing any good so I change my tense like Pastor Dollar was saying if you want to change your life change your tense so instead of saying I'm going to be healed just thank God that you're already healed you know, I'm going to have this. I'm going to, you know, it may sound uh, peculiar or it, it may make you look peculiar, but we are a peculiar people, right? And so, you know, you got to change your tense. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys to do that. And I just wanted to kind of, um, you know, just uh, touch on what the difference between depression and oppression. And as we know, disappointment um, and disappointment. So oppression is usually... Um, it is um basically when i read the definition let me just read it what i have down here the proper definition would be to pro prolong cruel or unjust treatment or control mental pressure or disease or distress so if you're under some type of mental pressure or something that's uh, causing you to be um having headaches or you know causing you to not have peace in your mind that's called uh you're uh, experiencing oppression Okay, you are experiencing, goodness, oppression. And so usually stuff that um, caused, that can be caused by a situation that has happened or is happening or you think in your mind is going to happen and it's not, it hadn't even happened yet. And so you can be psyching yourself out with that. And so... Um, that's the um that's the that proper definition of oppression so depression is feelings of severe uh despondence or dejection okay um it brings on sorrow it's a very a thing that brings on disappointment uh oppression and depression as i said brings on disappointment when you're disappointed you're you're let down right so all of these things are not the will of god for your life it is not God's will for you to be oppressed and depressed and disappointed all the time. And so he tells us that heaven and hell may 
you know, may pass away, but his word stands forever. And so it, it is his word that we can truly put our trust in. It is his word. It is his word. And so I choose to, you know, stay in the word. I know I'm kind of being a little redundant when I say this, but like I said, I'm witnessing um, the same thing over here, but I crush oppression and depression off of my life and off of your life right now. And I speak to oppression and depression and disappointment, and I command you spirits to be crushed, to be uh, cast out into the sea and choke. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Be choked into the sea and perish. Hallelujah. And so I just believe I have what I say. I crushed it into the spirit. And so I just wanted to... um encourage you guys that you know if you stay in god's word concerning that thing you're going to look up and have what you say and so um that's exactly what i'm doing concerning everything that god has promised me yes it looks like a dry season yes it looks like the word is not working but we know that it works if you work it right we know that the word became flesh because according to john 1 and 1 and in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and god said let there be light and there was light but nothing happened until he spoke it and so i was talking to a friend yesterday and i wanted to know is there any type of limitations between the people who believe and speak and have what they say versus the people who believe and speak and um is in the word and have what they say and then I, I thought about it she was like well when you ask God that what did he say and I said well it's kind of like I kind of answered my own question because if you believe and speak something and you're not in the word the enemy is going to come and try to get you to change your speech and because you're not in the word that inner man is is uh is getting weak you know, um, your faith is starving and so if you're starving your faith you got to be feeding your doubt right because you're starving your faith because you're not in the word and so the enemy is going to come like a flood the bible says if the hedge is down the serpent will bite and so so hallelujah if you're not in your word and you're believing and speaking i guess you know it can work for you but the enemy does come to bring discouragement oppression and depression and oppression and um depression okay and so if you're not in your word that's going to be a limit to what you can have because you're not in the word to know that you can have all of these things you can have all the things that the word says that you can have you can discover that you can have more in order to speak more so i i'm going to say yes there is a limit as to what um those individuals can have versus the people who are in the word um due to that reason if that makes sense i pray it makes sense to you guys i tried to explain it the best i could um if you're in the word however um the enemy is going to be very very hard for the enemy to get you to doubt and starve your you know um your faith because um when you're in the word you're feeding your faith and um your faith is growing and each time you speak the word it's, it's getting more powerful and as you speak it out into the atmosphere it's more powerful okay and so um i noticed that um some people who are who believe and speak um and are not in the word it takes them a long time to see the glory but when you're in the word it's a short amount of time it's only um it's a short a short amount of time okay and so that's just something that i um notice hallelujah it's just definitely something that i notice and so i just want to encourage you today to stay in your word you know to stay in your word um that's pretty much all I got. Um, so we definitely crushed the spirit of oppression and disappointment and, and, um, and, um, depression oppression and disappointment and so god remember that when you study the word he will begin to change you into that very image okay and so um i do not care what it looks like um uh, with that being said um you are victorious i don't care um I just don't care what it looks like. I don't care if it looks like it's a dry season. I don't care if it looks like you're in your Bibles and nothing is happening. You shall see the manifestations of the glory of God. You shall reap if you faint not. I was reading a scripture. Um, I have to find that scripture uh, where it was talking about that if you get to the end of, end of your faith, if you get to the end of your faith, you shall receive the grace through the revelation of Jesus Christ. So if we can get to the end of our faith, we shall surely have the grace, okay, in the natural realm. And then we know uh, we have to give the word a chance to work in our spirit. Hallelujah. First, the blade, um, then the ear, then the full corn in the ear, a scripture says. And that all takes place in the uh, supernatural realm. But when it comes to its full term, 
um, it's immediately placed into the sickle because the harvest has come. That's the manifestation part. Okay, so I wanted to encourage you guys. That's all I got for today. Uh, comment below and let me know what you thought about this vlog. If you felt this vlog of a value to you, um, just let me know by liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. If it's of a value to someone you know, go ahead and share it with a friend, all right? Um, if you're not into to the makeup, just fast forward it, um, this vlog to the um, ministering part where I minister. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for today, guys. And with that being said, if you want to see God's manifested glory and you want to be able to have more, um, you're going to have to know more in order to have more because you're going to have to, you can't speak more if you don't know you have more, right? Because you can't speak on something that you don't know you have. Or you don't know that you have the authority to release into the atmosphere. Hallelujah, if that made sense. And so I just want to challenge you today to um, be, get in the kingdom in order to see his manifested glory. With that being said, I'm going to ask my famous Amos question. If, you, if the world was going to end today, would you be going to heaven or to hell? All right. Well, just simply repeat this prayer after me. If, this, if your answer is no, I don't know. Because everybody should know where they're what they are going. And so let's go ahead and um get into this um prayer. Dear Lord, I come to you now just as I am. You know my life, you know how I've lived. Forgive me, Lord. I believe that Jesus died and rose the third day. Hallelujah. If you just prayed that simple prayer, you are saved. And I'm going to go ahead and speak to your mind. Mind, be at peace. You will be transferred. You will put off the old man and put on the new man. You will be kingdom minded. You think like a king. You will not think to operate like the world. Hallelujah. So I just spoke and I just quicken you mind right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I just spoke to your mind. So you are now saved and sanctified. So you know you no longer uh, will be thinking and acting um, like the world. Hallelujah. And so I want to also challenge you to get um, in God's word and find out more about who you are in him. And um, you, you're going to go ahead and pray um, the scriptures and the Holy Spirit is going to begin to change your speech. Okay, that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Makeup and Ministry Monday. Um, and thank you for tuning in to my channel, Vlog Talk. And it's always a pleasure to vlog and talk. And if you found this message of a value, go ahead and send me a love donation. It's completely optional. You don't have to send me a dime. Um, God bless you either way, okay? It is the money sign, Latoya, L as in lion, A as in apple, T as in Tom, O as in opera, Y as in yo-yo, A as in apple, uh, zero, nine, zero, okay? So that's the money sign, Latoya, L-A-T-O-Y-A-090. And that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Vlog Talk. And it's always a pleasure to vlog and talk.